If I was asked to say one thing that differentiates when I go around clients and see the difference in clients that are sick, this is it, leadership. There's no doubt about it. The quality of leadership, more than any other factor, determines the success or failure of an organization. And remember, leadership's not about position or hierarchy. It's about attitude and definite characteristics, behaviors such as vision and passion, people, team building, a desire to win. And remember, in current global economic times that we're experiencing at present, this is a time for real leaders to stand up throughout the organization. And certainly in professional services practice like FPM, our business is all about people. And if those people don't buy into the firm, it won't happen. And leadership in the corporate setting is centered on the ability to deliver change. Only adaptive organizations will ensure in today's rapidly changing business environment. Remember, good ideas still exist in a recession. Not least because they will create wealth for the innovator. We obviously must all be prepared to change in changing circumstances. And a person with the prerequisite skills and the wrong attitude, I believe personally, has limited potential. A person with the prerequisite attitude and the passion, but insufficient skills, we can train them. So what I'm really saying is that, our, that it's our attitude that will ultimately determine our attitude, and indeed the attitude of our organisations. This is the time. Go back and look at all the case studies. Look at any significant case study during recession. This is the time to focus on the drivers for activity growth rather than the negative. Cut out the negative talk. If people want to talk about negative, get them out the door. Get them out the door quick. No negative talk. I say you enter the cementing zone once you come up the road. If you don't want to come, it's fine to come into work at home. Whatever problems you have, we offer the best, best therapy in time. Once you come into the office, it's fine. <laughs> God help you now and again, you're the receiving end of a rocket. No, no, no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, I have to say, no, yes, man. I, 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 I support far more people than the rocket back at me. But we need to increase our proactive activity in the marketplace. That's why I'm here today. We've got to get out. And, you know, one of the biggest problems I have, I think I said that on the slide, I love sometimes take all the chairs away. Countless love to look at the computer and the kids at the desk. And all. We forget you have to be people. This is all about people. So I think one of the biggest things is you need to promote, support your brand, and get out there. Um, and best practice shows that there's a growing alignment between human resources and market planning. And the evidence suggests, by the way, that marketing works when it demonstrates, maybe this is a bad example this morning, rather than when it asserts. And in the, in the professional services market, and I know there's quite a few years in the service market here this morning, nothing reassures existing and potential clients more than direct contact, face to face time. You can always work at computer night time, face to face time. Where possible, we should go the direct route rather than target co to target customers, rather than what I would call the, the raspberry jam effect, the way that you spread it, the thinner it gets. 